Hey Savvy people, it's Savvy Nick here and today we'll be installing an ultimate USB tool that helps you create a bootable disk for multiple ISO files. This way you can host as many of those distribution installations or Windows installations all on one USB disk. The program we're going to be using today is called Ventoy and I'm here on the Ventoy.net website where we can see a list of supported ISO files for various different operating systems. You can see that it supports most Windows versions all the way down to it seems Windows 7 and a bunch of different Linux distributions here. Below if you scroll down you can see that up to 554 images have been tested and you can actually look for your ISO that you're trying to go ahead and boot with in this list if you're wondering if it's compatible with Ventoy. All right, let's go ahead and get started by going to the downloads page. And in the downloads page, what I want is the Windows release since I'm going to be installing this using a Windows computer today. I'm going to click on the windows.zip file here. And following that, I'm going to scroll down here because we're taken to their GitHub page. If we scroll down far enough, their latest release here in the green says Ventoy 1.0.21 release. We can scroll down and now we'll select this Ventoy windows.zip. So this is a compressed file that we'll have to extract on our computer. So let's go ahead and click this package and let it finish downloading real quick. If you're new and stopping by to watch a video today, make sure to subscribe below and hit the notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. All right, and once you have Ventoy downloaded on your computer, I went ahead and put it on my desktop here. Make sure to go ahead and check out whatever folder you went ahead and downloaded Ventoy, the compressed file to. And let's go ahead and launch the compressed file. So I'll double click on the compressed file and then I just need to extract what's inside of it. So I'm just going to drag and drop this to my desktop. You can drag and drop it to wherever you want. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the compressed file. And then I wanna go ahead and launch the folder that I went ahead and extracted. So mine's here on the desktop. And now I can see that there's this application here called Ventoy to Disk. Ventoy is a free and open source tool that allows you to create a bootable disk. And then you can simply drag and drop your ISO install images into that disk. And after booting the USB disk from your BIOS, you can then select whatever ISO image you want to work with. So the next thing I want to do is actually launch this program. So let's launch Ventoy to Disk. You might get this prompt here telling us Windows is trying to protect your PC. That's because this program is coming from an unrecognized developer. If you want to go ahead and run it anyway, you can click more info. And it says right here the publisher is unknown and that's why the program is being blocked. I know I want to go ahead and run this anyway. And then I'm going to go ahead and give administrative privileges here to run Ventoy. After that, we have this small dialog here called Ventoy to Disk. This is the actual program running. And a few things to note is we're asked what device we want to install Ventoy on. Then we can see here in red is the current release version. So that's the one that we just got done downloading, the 1.0.21. Here you'll notice it says MBR. You could either have MBR or GPT. If you have MBR, this is for legacy based BIOS. So if you have older BIOS firmware, you might choose MBR. Otherwise, for more modern computers and more modern BIOS firmware, you're going to want the GPT style. So I'm actually going to go through here in option, partition style, and select GPT. That's because I have an UEFI enabled BIOS and I have a more modern BIOS firmware. Make sure to figure out which one you have and then let's just go through a few more things here. In your options you can enable secure boot support and under the partition style we already looked at that you have the choice between MBR for legacy BIOS or GPT for UEFI BIOS. Following that you have partition configuration which allows you to preserve some space on the disk. If you don't want to take up the entire disk you can towards the end of the disk save some amount of space. I don't need to do that. I'm going to go ahead and devote this entire USB to Ventoy itself and the ISOs I want to keep on there. And then finally, you have Clear Ventoy, which clears out a USB that you installed Ventoy on, which is not what I want today. The next thing I want to do is select the device where I want to install Ventoy on. So I can actually click down this drop down and I should get a list of USBs if I have more than one or any other storage disks that the system recognizes. So I only have the one, and I know this is the correct one because it says here verbatim store and go. I know that's the USB's name. 
and that it is of the right storage space. So I have 32 gigs on it, and that's what I'm going to use. I know this is the correct USB. You'll want to make sure that the USB you select has nothing on it because everything, all the contents, will be erased in order to go ahead and install Ventoy on it. So make sure that you don't have anything on the USB and make sure that you select the proper USB. After that, it's as simple as hitting install. And then as it says here, it's warning you, the disk will be formatted, all data will be lost. Do you want to continue? Yes, I do. I know there's nothing on the disk that I need. And now it's actually double checking here. I'm going to hit a yes again. And then the process of installing Ventoy on the USB will begin. If you went ahead and made it this far, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. So congratulations, Ventoy has been successfully installed at this moment. We're getting really close here in order to be able to use Ventoy to launch one of our ISOs. So I'm going to go ahead and hit okay. And now the program actually recognizes, hey, Ventoy exists on this device as the GPT version. Seems like everything's good to go. So let's go ahead and exit out of here. All right, and after that, we can launch a file browser and I'm going to go ahead and search for the USB that we just got done working with. So mine was on the D drive here and it says Ventoy, so that's the correct one. So right now there's nothing in this folder. So what I can do here is actually drag and drop any ISOs that I have of various different operating systems. So I do have a few of them in my downloads folder. So I'm going to downloads and I can see here that I have various different ones I have Manjaro, Zorin, Ubuntu, Linux FX, MX, 19.2 KD, and Kali Linux. So I'm just going to select a few of these and then drag and drop them into my Ventoid disk. You can get a good notion of how much you can actually put in here by right clicking, going to properties, and now it says the free space available is around 30 gigs for me. So I can put about 30 gigs of images onto the disk before it's full. All right, I'm going to go ahead and select a few of these and then just simply drag and drop them over to my Ventoy disk. After I've done that, it's going to take just a little bit to go ahead and copy these over to the USB. So I'll give it a few moments here. All right, and once things have copied over, what I'm going to do is open up Ventoy, just confirm that the ISOs that I wanted to copy over did copy over, and I do see them. So I see my Ubuntu, Linux FX, and Kali Linux. So things successfully copied over, and at this point, we're now ready to go ahead and unmount or eject the USB, and then take it over to the computer of your choice. You'll have to restart the computer and make sure to get into your BIOS by spamming one of the F keys, typically, while booting things up. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, and once you have your Ventoy USB in the computer where you want to use it on, you'll go ahead and start it up and you'll probably have to spam one of the F keys in order to get into your BIOS. Here for me, I have to spam, as it says, F2 or delete, which I do, and then I'm welcomed to my BIOS. Now for my BIOS, it's kind of nice because I get to use a mouse if I want, or I can also use my keyboard to go ahead and select through things. Here on the right hand side, I do have the availability to go through various different bootable devices. But what I'm actually more interested in is, at least on mine, is the boot menu. So it says here, if I wanna to get to the boot menu, I can select F8. Yours might be different and or you might have to go into the advanced mode, but I'm going to just check out F8 real quick. And from here, I can go ahead and see that there is an available UEFI verbatim store and go. So that's the name of my USB that I plan on selecting, uh, but I'm actually gonna do it a different way just to kind of show you. Yours might actually look like this more. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this and then I'm gonna actually hit the F7 mode now your BIOS might look a little more like this, where you have these tabs at the top. I'm searching for one called boot or boot order, and I found it here. So now inside of the boot or boot order, I can go ahead and specify which boot option I want to come first. So I'm looking down to find that UEFI with the name of the USB where I installed Ventoy on. So I install it on this verbatim, store and go. I'm gonna press enter, 
and then I'm going to go ahead and save these settings. So in order for me to do this, I actually have to go over to the top and go to exit and select save changes and restart in my BIOS. Yours might be slightly different. Look around for these options, of course. And this will allow the USB to be the first booted device on the system and get you into a selection of multiple ISOs in Ventoy. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter to go ahead and save and exit and confirm and just give it a few moments to reboot the computer once more and hopefully load our newly created bootable disk. All right, I'm gonna let it go past BIOS this time. All right, and if you see this screen, you've successfully installed everything properly and booted into Ventoy from BIOS. As you can see here, we have three options and those options are the install ISO files that we went ahead and dragged and dropped into our Ventoy disk. So now I can simply select whichever one I want. So let's say I want to install Ubuntu, I can go ahead and select that and just press enter and that will automatically launch Ubuntu here. Um, now I'm getting the option of what type of Ubuntu install I want to go through. I'm just going to hit the normal Ubuntu live disk. All right, and once things finish loading up, I'm here welcomed by the install screen for the Ubuntu 20.04 image that I selected. Now you can have fun using your multi ISO bootable USB disk. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.